everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Honesty Hour here on Hyper RPG. This is a chance for you guys to get to know what's going on on the channel. We'll answer some questions. If shit gets deep, it gets deep. We get real. I will not bullshit you. That's what this is all about. I will not bullshit you. Uh, while this is happening, while we're talking, while you and I are having a conversation, Malika back here, you can say hello. There's a, there's a mic and stuff. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm oh. losing my voice a little bit, yeah, but hi, true. my name is Malika, and tonight I am going right. to make some chicken and waffles. I already got started, I made some awesome fried chicken, and some bacon, and Wait. now we're just going to make some waffles, and, and I got a little, little caramelized garlic maple syrup right here. Jar uh, they're saying I wear this shirt just to troll you. See, so, yeah, I'm really excited about this uh, chicken and waffles. Like, yeah. like, really, really excited. That's good. About chicken and waffles. It is behind you, so it's it's hot. So be careful. Like, That's cool. I'm gonna. I'm ex I want to feel raise, that heat. I want to feel that heat. No, 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 no. I meant I meant right, right to turn that light on and uh, point it towards I'm me. Gonna say... I was funny. I turned it off and pointed it towards you. That makes a lot of sense yeah. to point it towards me and then turn it off. Yep. Uh, it's I more. It's mainly for Malika better. in the back. It Not needs to be hitting kind of in the back there. Okay. So how's everybody doing tonight? Uh, yeah, how are you guys doing tonight? Let me pull up the Honesty Hour chat in Discord to see what kind of questions you guys ask. And I am going to ask that uh, you guys clear out anything in there that aren't actually questions. If you guys start a discussion, just delete those mods so it doesn't take me forever to find actual questions. Um, Okay. Do 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 do. Okay. So Krellen starts off right off the bat with the heavy stuff. Like, what's this real shit we're getting hit with? Are we ready? Yeah. I mean, for the most part, you are. And and I've got a whole list here of stuff that we're gonna talk about, um, and go over and all that good stuff. Uh, I've actually never been to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles Troopers JP because they have nothing there I can eat. They put butter and dairy in everything. And I was really sad when I figured that out because when I first moved to LA, I was super excited to have chicken and waffles. Honestly. Like Pulp Fiction. You know, like... Because, you know, I watch movies growing up. I think they're kind of dry. You don't like them? You're not a big fan? Roscoe's? Yeah, I think yeah. it's kind of dry. That is exactly something Malika would say. No, you know, she true. comes from a family of chefs. I mean, I also grew up in the South, and I was really excited. Damn. Um, That's LA's true. is just not healthy. Like, yeah. it's, LA's just too healthy, right? So yeah. they, can't, they can't do that dirty stuff. For example, um, Zach can't eat melted butter. Some people might put oil in this situation, but since I made bacon, I just put bacon fat in my waffles. Just saying. Um, oh, I just... If you love somebody, give here, them a heart click attack. out of that. You, you messed up my chat. Okay, uh, uh, can everybody in the chat room really quick though, give Molly Dell some love? Uh, Mal, I'm putting you on the spot. Guys, Mal's one of our mods. He's an awesome guy. He came by here. He gave the Shadowrun crew some awesome props. Uh, it was really great. So, um, you guys should show him some love. He's having a rough time right now. He just posted in the chat. And let's show, let's show Mal some love. He, he works really hard for us here at Hyper RPG. And let's, let's show him some thumper love and let him know that we really care about him and hope he gets feeling better. Yeah. All right, he's so just a helpful person. He's general. very helpful. Yeah, he gave us some like feedback. It's super cool. And the crappy ones. Yeah, that's really cool. So Mal, get feeling better. Uh, Empty Knox says you understand what love is. Bacon fat. Of course. Yeah, she's been actively trying to fatten me up. She wants me to have a belly. This is a goal of hers, and she's been doing a good job. Oof. Why? Why are you? Why are you announcing that? Why? Why do you? Why are you telling me that? Well, that you it's you, you it's make honesty. me me seem like a evil person or something like the witch. Like, oh, I'm gonna fatten these kids up and then I'm gonna eat them. That is kind of exactly how you speak to me. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I tell you every time that it's kind of creepy, uh, and that I wish you'd stop trying to fatten me up, because I feel gross. And I'm like, can we eat vegan food tonight? Uh, what's up, Maddie Pick 22 All right, guys. So let's get into some of these questions. Um, <laughs> some of these are silly. We'll start with silly, and then we'll get heavier as we go. 
Uh, Geika said, Zach, if you had unlimited money and time, what film would you make? I think we've talked about this before. I'd probably do the one about the Covenant of the Sword and the Arm of the Lord. Um, that terrorist group that's from down where I'm from. Uh, that I have all this information in my head that no one else has. I am like the holder of the knowledge! Because of the amount of research I've done and people that I talk to that have now since passed away. But and Zach, I feel like it's my job to do it. It will be so tasty when deep fried in batter. What? A lot of things will be more tasty when deep fried in batter. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, well, you know, that was, so there's my answer to that question. And, you know, before we get too deep in there, uh, I want to remind everybody that, um, who here hasn't seen the awesome, awesome stuff that Wormwood sent us. Like, who hasn't seen it yet? So let us know in the chat room. It's, it's really cool. Uh, who hasn't seen it yet? You show it off again anyways. Yeah, because we do have a, no, a free shipping code for you all. And if you like, like that stuff and you've been on the fence about getting it, a lot of people when we were periscoping said they would totally get it if Oh, a bunch of people haven't seen it. Um, Rai Rai, when you get a chance, can you grab it for me? Yep. One of the things from the front? Okay, perfect, we'll show it off. Uh, a lot of people said on the Periscope that if they could get the Hyper RPG logo on it, they would totally buy it. And I talked to the Wormwood and they said they would totally put the Hyper RPG logo on there. So I'm not exact, I asked them like, how exactly would that work in the order? Because you guys can't like upload the graphic and everything. Oh. Hey, say a match, just subscribe. Welcome to the YouTube channel, man. You are the Enterprise Chat perform Platform Consultant. The Enterprise Chat Platform Consultant. So please, you are in the right place. You are in the right place. So, so keep doing your job. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. So thank you for that subscription. Four more of those and we'll give away a Steam Key tonight. But yeah! Thank you for that. Okay, so Wormwood, check this shit out. These are the beautiful dice trays uh, that we're going to be using on Vanquished. And the Shadowrun people had them on their show tonight. They had the different ones. So... They printed these for us um, to, to show them off. I mean, we'll be transparent there. They gave them to us so we would show them off because I think they're so confident in their product. They're like, once you get these, you won't stop talking about them. Which they, true. It's so cool. They it's etched true. our logo into this part. Um, and you have the magnetic kind of dice tray that goes along with it. So I'll be using this on Monday with the little dice tower so I can one-handedly kind of oh, drop some dice, dice in oh, there. Oh, you want to try it? You want to try it right now? I got some dice. You wanna, you wanna put some dice in there? You wanna, you wanna put some dice in there? Oh my god, put some oh. dice in there! Woo! Okay, I dropped them, but five is the one that landed. That, that's a... Yes, this is Rosewood. It's really pretty. Um, so, they sent us a free shipping code. If When you're checking out, if you use that's the code so HyperRPG, it's so good. If you use HyperRPG, all lowercase, you can get free shipping. They have some cheaper stuff available. It's pretty rad. Um, the other thing is, if you tell them, I think you have to probably like click that you want a custom engraving on it, and then in your checkout, just tell them you want the Hyper RPG logo, and they will totally, totally. You have to have that. I know that, but I'm holding it all up with one hand, dude. Come on. Um, tell them you want the Hyper RPG logo. We gave them permission to use our logo for people that want it, so we don't get any kickback from that, and we don't care to because they sent us a bunch of cool stuff. So it's really rad. Um, you guys should definitely check it out. I'm super excited that yeah, this is Yeah, Zach stuff also it. has a dice ring too. Yes, He's I do. Still learning to lubricate it. <laughs> yeah, salt. there is a Hyper RPG logo on the tower as well. They can do uh, the logo on everything. I bet they could do it on the dice holder, Small Fry. We just didn't ask them to. Um, so, it's pretty cool. So, let's get back to these questions. Uh, they might not do it on the little box. We didn't ask them to, so maybe they didn't. Malika, will you ever make Challenger in Hearthstone? Oh, I don't know. Vorak! A thousand cheers! Thank you so much for that, Vorak. Good to see you, Vorak. Thanks for coming around tonight. Uh, Thanks! Vorak, I, you know, you were one of my favorite trolls in Geek and Sundry. Uh, and I really appreciate that you're still a part of the community and hanging out. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna get pretty sentimental tonight about you guys, like, later. We're gonna talk about community a lot, and, um... We're, we're, we're gonna get deep into it, because you guys are the reason we're here, and I, I'm not even fucking around. Like, that is 100% why we're here. Okay. So, questions are still coming in, in the Discord. Uh, Zach, how do you feel about being cast as the captain and hammer and the fang? I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. What is that? What's the hammer and the fang? What are they talking- really watch No, I was working. Okay, hammer, cool. Hammer is the cool, evil version of 
Cromwell that he's uh, acting in. Oh. And Fang is also and Fang. a major character in Shadowrun. Yeah, I'm aware who oh, Fang is. Right. I know who Fang is. Uh, why was I cast in this as the captain? What's that going on there? Okay, great. I think Sergeant or Captain of the Force. Yeah. You're like the hard-ass. You know. Snowy Noe says, Zach, how do you stay sane? Malika, am I sane? Uh, no, you're nuts. There, Not there's your answer. Nuts, so. Yeah. That's you your answer. You wanna see something fucking nuts? Check this shit out, check this shit out. Not only do I got fried chicken, <laughs> I'm making waffles with... Bam! Bacon in them. Do you see that shit? There's a bacon Holy in shit. these waffles. That's right. Hashtag dinner time. Hashtag om. Hashtag nom. Hashtag yummy in my tummy. <laughs> All right, there we go. So, so yeah, that is that. Uh, I'm, I'm, oh my God, this is glorious. Okay, so Snowy, know to your question about the emote, we're gonna talk about that. Um, we're gonna get there and we're gonna talk about that. Uh, Malika, is embarrassing Zach one of the great joys in your life? Oh hell yeah! Great. It's the reason why I breathe. <laughs> I hate it when you sound like Ricky. It really weirds me out. What? Uh, We're like from the same part in the world. Doesn't it make sense that we would sound like each it's other? It's your no, because you you both your it's your speech pattern sometimes. With, yeah, uh, if we share, you know, a cultural similarity. Mm-hmm. Uh, Malika, when did you You're get- You're just jealous, because we're both, like, trilingual. Malika, when did you get interested in cooking? How long have you been cooking? Uh, I've been cooking my whole life, because I come from a family of chefs. <laughs> my parents used to shame me when I was, like, in first grade. They're like, Girl, that's not how you make scrambled eggs. You should be ashamed of yourself. You come from a family of chefs. And I'm like, okay, okay. And then there was a time when my mom actually left me and then I really had to cook for myself. So I've been like cooking since elementary school. Malika, how did Iron Man 3 improve your cooking skills? Um, you know, Iron Man 3 had nothing to do with my cooking skills. Mm. Yes. Okay, good, good to know, good to know. Uh, let's see. Malika, where do you get your recipes? And then we're gonna go back to the top question. Uh, this one, I made it the fuck up. Sometimes I get them from the internet. Sometimes. There's this thing, it's called Google. Like you could d Google like chicken and waffle recipe. I'm like, mmm, that gives me some inspiration. Okay. Maybe I could put the bacon in the waffle. You see that bacon in the waffle? Bacon God, in the it waffle. smells so good. Okay, um. <laughs> It smells really good. Uh, Dude, if we had a dog in here, they would be like having a... Okay, so Navar asks, Zach, how have the show's been doing since you revamped this channel? Uh, well, we revamp constantly, so I don't know exactly what you're talking about there. If you mean when we lo lost the midday shows, I mean, we're constantly gonna be experimenting, and that's kind of the overall thing that I wanted to talk about today. Well, it's one of the long list of things. So I'm just gonna start going through my talk of all the stuff I wanna talk about with you guys. Uh, and get that out. So, the shows, like the midday shows, still aren't performing well. And I think a lot of that is that uh, a lot of people, we know there's an audience out there for midday shows. I, I know a lot of people uh, in our audience that watch at night can't necessarily watch in the day, but there is an audience for midday shows because the first two weeks we were live, we had them. And mistakes may have been made, and I'm gonna admit that right off the bat. Um, and it can only be my fault and nobody else's. Uh, we know now that the content we launched with wasn't what people wanted to see. And I think unfortunately, a lot of people tuned in in those first two weeks. And I have the data to support this. And I hate data because it doesn't lie. And I hate it for that because I want to convince myself. What's up, Crotchet Dude? Thank you for that follow, very much appreciated. Thank you for that. Um, is this funded by like venture capital or something? The production seems way too considering the low numbers of followers. Fit Fit It's Fez, we are a community driven channel, hyperactive community driven channel called Hyper RPG. We work our fucking asses off. If you wanna know why this looks so good, it's because we work our fucking asses off. And I'm not gonna bullshit you on that. Guess what, Ryan's still here. He's setting up laptops for tomorrow's show. 
Uh, QQ is still here. She's setting up and moving things around for tomorrow's show. Emily, our community manager, is still in the back answering you guys' questions and answering emails. I'm here talking to you right now. That's our entire team. But we love a venture capitalist. We would. That would be great. If you know a venture capitalist... Oh my <laughs> fucking god. I can't. Okay. Okay. Um... The, we're a team of four people, and we work extremely hard. I can't do this right now. Oh my god. Um... Are you okay? No, I mean, just the food. I, I, if I start eating that, I'm done. I can't. So... Like it's gonna kill you or something? <laughs> uh, what I mean to say by that is uh, we wouldn't exist without the community. We have a very strong community that we work really hard on. We sacrifice a lot of numbers. Uh, we sacrifice a lot of numbers for the sake of having a stronger community. Hi, is this live? Yes, it is. Red Almighty Fury. This is indeed live. So for us, uh, that's totally awesome. I just don't get what funds it all. Like this set looks fantastic. Thank you, Fed Fede. And honestly, go to our YouTube. Our set looks way better than this. Like it's it's huge. It, it's it's as big. Uh, what funds it is? I'm extremely cr extremely thrifty, and uh, we work really really hard, and we have a very strong community. And in the past, we've made choices that were could we just go all out and go big and try to sell out to get like lots of followers and we decided not to and to focus on community and build strength within that community uh, for a strong base and I think that's more important and that's why you'll see maybe lower numbers but those people watching are much much more invested in the content um, which leads to higher revenue for us which allows us to keep the doors open. Oh, no, I, I wanted the other waffle. I'm just, I, I'm just trying to talk and, and now there's bacon in front of me and it's, it's extremely hard. Okay. Uh, also, Krellen says a lot of debt. Honestly, Krellen, we don't have debt. We don't have debt, per se. You, you personally have I debt. personally have a lot of debt. The channel itself, You're, uh... Yeah, lots of us personally have a lot of debt. Yeah, lots of us personally have debt, but the channel itself, uh... We didn't take any loans out or anything to start Yeah, we, we, uh... Yeah, I've been poor my whole life. I'm good at it. <laughs> We're thrifty. Uh, you know, when, when we built the set, we, we worked on being extremely thrifty. Um, oh, thank you, Fed for its fist. Uh, and check us out on YouTube if you want to see more of what we do. Uh, YouTube.com slash HyperRPG. But tonight's thing is actually going to be a lot about that funding and where we're at and how much further we have to go. And that's the other thing. We're extremely open with you guys, which is hard. It's hard for me. Um, you know, if I was to be a solo streamer, I'd make a lot more money. And that is no joke. Uh, Kellandros just resub for three more months. Chicken, what's up? Um, if I was to just give all this up and go solo stream, I'd be doing a lot better and I wouldn't have this stress on my head. But I like what we're doing and I believe in it and I think it can work. And I think that what we're doing is the future of live production. We just might be a little bit too early to the ballpark. You know, like we might be there. We might be arriving a little early to the show. I am Ripley, just subscribe. Thank you for that subscription. I am Ripley. Woo! You are Yojimbo's organic mech weapons organizer. We have organic mechs now? Yeah, it's called Golem Arcana. We have, oh fuck. <laughs> Golem Arcana, you are in charge of that. Good luck. Wait. <laughs> thank you for that subscription. You're awesome. Thank you for that. Uh, thank you for that. Okay, so I want. What's really hard is when we run a channel like this, we have to be extremely open with you guys, and there's a balance there. We can't tell you everything. For one, there's a lot of NDAs. Two, we don't want to freak you guys out sometimes when it's good or bad. Like, if we get deals that might happen, I don't want to tell you. Uh, and I also, you know, like, I, I don't want to, like, I don't want to make you get excited about something that then doesn't happen. Uh, so we have to be careful, but we want to share everything. Um... We want to definitely share everything. So, I have to admit, like, when we're going back to, like, the the midday shows and things like that, we were able to see that in our first two weeks, according to the data, a lot of people tuned in. A lot of people came around interested in what we were doing, and we disappointed them. And it wasn't what they were looking for. And unfortunately, you don't get many second chances when it comes to this kind of stuff, which is a real bummer, because we are so low budget, that we can't afford to go balls out from the start. We have to tier, we have to slowly be improving and slowly be improving and slowly be improving, fixing things along the way. Because what we do is so crazy, things have to become second nature to get them done quickly. Because every person here is doing 10 jobs. So 
the amount of work that you have to do relies on you to be able to, without even thinking, be answering this email while you're talking about this, thinking about hearing this thing in the corner of your ear while doing this, booking lead guests while doing it? this. You know, QQ is going to have to do 10 different things at once. She's going to have to be listening to sound effects, thinking about what to switch to when she needs to be switching to, while also listening to notes coming from us in the back booth, while also thinking about the talent and getting the next feed set up and saving the local hard drive files and making sure all these different layers are working in a proper and correct way. So it takes time to become a natural at it. And that's the only way to do it. It's like sports. You have to practice, 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 practice. Um, uh, thank you. Tech and Daggers, I appreciate that. We work really hard for it. We work really hard for that. Um, so, um, and Berserk Chimera, honestly, a lot of the, uh, abortions tickle. Really, that's your name? That's your name? Reevaluate your choices. I'm just gonna say that. As a person who's had to uh, be with women in the past who've had to go through that, uh, don't fucking joke about it. Like, that's heavy shit, man. So, not even gonna laugh or make a joke out of that name. Just not gonna do it. That, that's just not, mm. Reevaluate, reevaluate. Okay, um, so, my choices are fine. All right, if you can look in the mirror and be cool with it, that's more power to you, more power to you. I personally don't think that's something to joke about. It's, that's hard, 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 hard stuff. Are you mad, bro? No, I'm not mad, I just think you're kind of being a piece of shit. Honestly, I'm not mad. It doesn't affect me. It just makes other people look at you and not respect your choices because you're trying to get a rise or attention out of people purely in a cheap way that could hurt other people. It's just not, just not cool. Okay, so, um, moving on. Big walking carpet just reset for five months. Wasn't able to sell for a bit, but happy to be able to support this great channel and community again. Awesome. Thank you for that big walking carpet. So. Like I said, a lot of people started watching at the beginning and we didn't live up to their expectations because we were like trying really hard to, uh, we were trying to do something that we didn't have the audience to do. And I, I kind of knew that going in and I should have trusted my gut, but I was trying to be an optimist. And sometimes being an optimist isn't the right thing to do when you're running a business. Um, later, Napalm Ice 2. Uh, it's how you live your life though. I know, it's how I live my life. I'm. I don't look like an optimist, but I take big risks and big chances because I believe in things. You're a high risk, high I'm reward. a very high risk, high reward kind of person. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you know, us trying to do a channel that was half RPGs, half game development, it didn't work. For one, everything we were trying to do didn't have a category. We're still struggling with the non-category situation but we're working on that and we're working with people all the time to try to fix that. We're, we've been having a lot of meetings about getting a tabletop RPG section on Twitch, which will help us tremendously because half of what we do is tabletop RPGs. Now, over time, our numbers just continued dropping and dropping because we weren't giving people what they wanted from those midday shows. We switched things up and what we've seen with a lot of stuff when you switch stuff up, the people who've already decided they're not into it don't come back to see if they like the new thing. It takes a long time. So it's hard for us to gauge proper data. Now that being said, we've had other data that's skewing and we're having to test things out a little bit. To, to be completely honest, it's a lot of work still to do those midday shows. We have to book a lot of guests. Um, we have to do a lot of pre-production planning and things like that. And we don't know yet if it's worth the payoff. Uh, when, uh, let's adapt. We're actually having a whispering conversation with them as you speak, so we're on it. Um, Twitch, yeah, has got to get a section like that. Crick Roll, yeah, has 20k views each week. Right, and they still don't have it. But they have D&D, &D, so they kind of get away with it. And that's why we've been putting it in the D&D. &D, so, um, yeah, never tell me the odds, Zach, every year. Pretty much. Pretty much. But, you know, I have other people's salaries that rely on me, so I have to be aware of what's happening. Um, anyway, uh, there's been a discussion, and I want you guys to know... Um, that this is a discussion we're having is we've honestly been discussing possibly taking our midday shows and changing them up. Fire Talent 2000 just subscribed. Thank you so much for that Fire Talent 2000. Fuck yeah. You are Yojimbo's obscure subscriber services representative. So all those new obscure uh, subscribers that come in, you're in charge of really figuring out what they're all about. So thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Two more and we're giving away a Steam key. Thank you so much for that subscription. Really does mean the world to me. I really appreciate it. Um, so, what we've been able to see is 
unfortunately, because it's so hard to get into the content we're doing, that we get a lot more new followers and new subscribers on these late night hangouts, or when I come in and stream on a Saturday. Uh, and we might be testing with that, and instead of, JWild37 just subscribed for three, six months, thank you for that. We might be playing around with that a little bit, and we might do like a one week test of it to see how it goes, where it's like, instead of losing the host that you really like, uh, taking a host you like and say that's their day. You know, like possibly saying like, okay, Monday from noon to 5.30 is Claudia and Marcus day. And they get to play the game they want for five and a half hours and we let them roll with it. Like it's a personal stream and we support that, uh, which allows us, yeah, man. I'm not even gonna say it, dude. You're obviously like trying real hard. Nice, nice try hard. Um, so, they're obviously, uh, in, in a way, that might work because it gives us more time to connect with them and get to know them better and possibly get in there more. It's worth a shot, uh, because we found that when we sit and we actually talk to people, we do connect a little bit more and we get more followers and stuff. I think for me, I personally would rather see a show that's actually produced because that's my background, but, you know, uh, so like having each day is a different host day, but then still doing our big shows at six and still doing our late night hangouts as well, because those have been going well. Our big shows do well, but our midday shows need to be bringing in new followers. Uh, and that's- I'm gonna give this to the crew. Oh, nice. Thank you, Malika. This was the quickest thing we cooked too. I guess you did a lot of pre-work. Yeah. Um, so, and production also costs more, yes. Well, yes and no. If you want me to be totally honest, we're already here. We're already paying salary for all our employees. The costs actually don't change at all. When we're doing the two different shows, it changes the time commitment a little bit. But the only thing, and, I'm, and, and this is just, and you know, in Chaotic Looney, I think Jim Stuart Allen and Sally are amazing. I think the thing is you give them a day and you say, now you have a day to do something with instead of a show. But, um, Here's the problem with that. And this is something I know is a problem, and I know some of our mods know this is a problem. Um, I might be able to come in on a Saturday and stream and do decently, but I also have the most experience doing that in this kind of setting. Viking Less and Goobs also have experience doing that, but they're gonna do that on their own channel because that's their thing. Um, that's how they survive and pay rent and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Our hosts, and I mean no offense to them, we just haven't trained them in it, they don't necessarily know how to do that yet. And it would take training to get them there. Um, we've been working on training them to be hosts, to be like personal streamers and be as good as the other stuff that's going on uh, out there. Like if you were gonna choose to watch one of our hosts while watching somebody who's been streaming for a long time, now we're in competition uh, with people who've been doing this for a very long time. And our hosts haven't, they don't know Twitch like that. So, that, that's the conundrum, I guess. I li we like our hosts because we know them. The new person coming in, it's really hard to impress new people with people who, ha who don't have that experience and don't know how to, it, it's a skill set and it's a skill set that takes time to learn. And I know that a lot of people, uh, if they're being honest with themselves, know that that's a worry um, because we know that, we, we just know. It's, they're not there yet, and I think they could be. Uh, Are we still still eating it yet? I don't know. Okay. Uh, so, but we're gonna test it. I do think it's worth testing, because I love things like land party. Uh, I think that has legs. I think that's fun. I like that idea. Um, but maybe that's something like instead of making it its own show, it's like Thursday is the Sally and Jim Stuart Allen day, and if we happen to have people coming over to play games with them in a land party setting. That can be a part of it. If not, it's the Sa it's the Sally and Jim Stuart Allen day. It is what it is, kind of thing, you know. Um, the thing is, we would actually have to pay people more to be here longer, and on some days it would end up costing us more money uh, because when we're doing the shorter shows, it's it's like it's less. So because uh, we balance it out in a way to maximize the most like the cheapest amount, kind of thing. So. 
I'm having a religious experience back here in my mouth. You made a boo boo? You dropped syrup all over your pants? Way to go, Rai Rai. You gotta wear shorts for the rest of the week. <laughs> um, it's not about being professional when you're a solo streamer. It's about. Okay, so here's the thing you guys probably don't realize about a bunch of people who do it professionally. It, they, they're doing it to make it look effortless, but there's a lot of practice and a lot of routine and a lot of thought that goes into it. When you're just doing it, it doesn't work. It just doesn't. And the reason you'll be more attracted to certain people that do it than others is because they've found a way in which they can communicate with you very quickly. Uh, man, dude, you realize that you're wasting an entire night signing up for new accounts and stuff. Uh, it's the most try-hard pathetic piece of shit thing I've seen somebody do in a long time. Like, it's really sad and pathetic. And really, we have a bunch of people here who like each other and care about each other, and I feel sorry for you because you're obviously alone and tired, and, and that's kind of honestly sad. So I pity you, but keep trying if you want. Eventually, we'll just turn off the notifications and you get nothing. Um, okay, so, the, uh, other stuff we want to talk about is other ways that we can- try this before it gets cold. Okay, alright, alright, I'll try it before it gets cold. I thought you were gonna mix the rosemary into the batter, did you? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, then I don't need garnish. to- garnish. Okay, so I'm just gonna- Actually, try that garlic, dude. Do I need a knife? Alright, alright, I'm gonna take a little break. A little break. All right, I'm gonna start with the garlic. I'm gonna use that as a palate cleanser. <laughs> Let's use some garlic as a palate cleanser. How do you feel about that? It's pretty good, though. It's pretty good. Okay. I'm a big fan of an entire glove of garlic wrapped in sugar. Yeah. All it's, right. It's, ca it's been caramelized. Caramelized? Yeah, I, I, um... Simmer the maple syrup with cloves of garlic. Okay, so I'm about to eat a piece, a, a waffle that's been cooked with bacon inside it and rosemary and fried chicken. Fuck yeah. Do you need more syrup? But you good. I'm fucking good. Mmm. Oh my god. There's, there's a lot of little secrets in there, besides the obvious piece of bacon in the middle of a waffle, but... I'm a lucky guy. I'm a seriously really lucky guy. It's, um, it's rosemary mm. time. Woo! I just wanted to make that pun. It's rosemary <laughs> and thyme in the waffle with a slice of bacon. Mm-hmm. You know, and then I put- This is all from our garden too, right? Yep. And I put smoked salt, and I double- Actually, you might have the triple battered fried chicken on there. With the, you mm. know, garlic mm. maple syrup. It's got, a, like, a little bit of weirdness, because I know you like that stuff. Um, yeah, okay. And I, I brought your butter if you, um, you know. There's enough fat Need in here, it. I'm good. <laughs> but it's like not greasy, right? No, no, no. The waffle sucks up the grease, though. No, but like, guys, a little, little Malika advice for you here. If you're going to make fried food, make sure your oil is the right temperature. Because if it's too low, the food will suck up the oil. But if it's the right temperature, it cooks. It cooks the outside. It's not sucking up all this oil. It's not as greasy as you think it might be for something fried. No. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> that's, that's a, you know, I wish people were more unique sometimes with this, you know, trying to insult me and stuff. Lack of creativity comes in all forms. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't cook a hey, lot of oil. Lieutenant Dan, too. You can also say goodbye for even applauding that shit. Get out of here. She 
look into making honey butter for your fried chicken. So I love honey butter, but Zach can't eat butter. I can't eat butter, so. So it's like honey, earth balance, and I'm like, hmm, bleh. <clears throat> oh man, so good. Woo! What's up, Jim Store to Allen? What's up, dog? Burgard. That's kind of weird that PGT Burgard says hi. Mm. We're not even it's talking. So good. We're just eating know. fried chicken in front of a camera. It's so good. I'm live streaming it. It's so good. While assholes crawl out of the woodwork. It's okay because 99% of y'all are really, really awesome. Thank you guys. Okay. All right. That oh, was damn, fun. you that ate was, all of it. Yeah, it was, hungry. it was good. It was really great. Okay. All right. You want more garlic? Damn. I'll eat that. Okay. An it's entire like clove of garlic. Yeah, it's in. good though, right? Entire clove of garlic. Let's do it. I don't, I, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. It's, it's not spicy or it's like mild. What's up, Tino Stark? How's it going? Okay. Mm. I didn't forget to eat all day. You guys saw the last time I ate too. It was earlier on the stream at 1 p.m. Because that's... I, can, I only have time to eat if it's on camera. I'm least busy when it's on camera. Okay. All right. So, that's something that's been discussed. So, um, I'm going to get back to the Discord because Krellen started with some questions that I skipped until later. So... Was it fun bike riding, uh, riding bikes with Claudia? Uh, actually, yeah, it was fun. It was cool. I'm probably gonna end up getting one of those bikes because they're fucking awesome. Yeah. It was, it was really fun. Oh, gosh. Uh, Baka Moche, uh, Moichi guy, um, <clears throat> woo! The reason we haven't done cosplaying and prop making and stuff like that is because it's expensive. And the people who do it you can't expect them to buy their own materials. So when it comes to us being in a tight budget situation, we can't really do that. Um, we, we just can't really do that right now. Uh, we can't afford to. The, the cost to do it's really high. Like It would cost us more than doing an entire day of normal programming just to buy the materials that they need. So that's, that's a problem. Okay. Uh, was it more fun when she was, wasn't driving? Yes, it was. I did let uh, Claudia be the front bike for a little bit, Steverus. And then she flat out told me, I don't know what I'm doing, you should probably try. <laughs> She's like, I've wrecked a lot of bicycles. I know, I was like, shit, why are you saying that? Okay, Carlin also says, has this been a rough month? It feels rough. Okay, let's get into that. Technically, no. Uh. Good peeps play sub game too. Thank you for that follow. Uh, technically, no, it's actually been a good month. We're, we're currently trending uh, towards being the highest making month that we've had yet. Uh, currently. We still have another week and a half, so let's not, let's not fuck that up. Whew. Uh, but, you know, um, we've had other things on the back end come through that help out a little bit. Uh, so technically, so far, this month, has been the best month that we've had yet from a financial standpoint. Now, from a follower and subscriber standpoint, it's been extremely low until the last week. Um, so, uh, yeah, don't fuck it up, people, says Uh Our follower numbers and our subscribers numbers have been really low. We hit a lull uh, after the Necropolis Death Jam. And, you know, there was some, some change-ups in there and people being out of town and other stuff. So we're we're gonna we're working on ways to try to, to like salvage that. Um, that's why I stream for 11 hours on Saturday. Like, and, and that's what I want. Like, I really want you guys to understand. Like, I can't tell you how bad I want this, 
and I will do whatever it takes. Um, and I get bummed, you know, because I feel like we're trying all these things, and and, and that's a, and a lot of what we're gonna talk about tonight is is things I think I can do better with you guys. Um, and I get really bummed because I feel like we're doing so many things right. We have the data to show that our our uh, our retention is extremely high, like one of the highest on Twitch. You need some water. You probably need some water, right? Um, Malika is awesome. F trolls. Thank you for following. Thank you. Um, uh, wow, that's really funny. So what you just did with that name is showed me that you're somebody that considers themselves a member of the Geek and Sundry community, which is really sad because they don't need you either. Um, thank you for that follow. Uh, <clears throat> so we have one of the highest retentions on Twitch, if not the highest. We also have the highest subscriber to follower count on Twitch right now. Um, the, so there's things that we know are working really, really well. And when it comes to actual funds transferred through the company, uh, we are one of the absolute highest on Twitch, uh, despite even our low follower count. So what that says, there's a lot of things that we're doing right. We're doing extremely right. And the biggest thing that's not happening is just exposure. RT Dub, thank you for that. Holy shit, thank you for that. Thank you so much. Uh, you are Yojimbo's organic VR moderation inspector. Thank you so much for that. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for that. That's really awesome. Uh, so, thank you for that. Really appreciate it. One more sub until a Steam Key giveaway. Thank you for that. Really, man, that's awesome. Okay, so to continue that conversation, um, the number one problem that we have is just exposure. And as we've talked about on the channel before, this is a general problem with all of Twitch. It's extremely hard to find new content. Um, uh, oh, Miss Cashew followed again. <laughs> uh, so, only one more. One more for a Steam Key giveaway. Just one more, guys. Uh, just one more. So, like I said, technically we are uh, doing a lot of things right. We just need exposure. Uh, and that's where it can get frustrating because we make deals with people and then they don't follow through. Um, and it gets really frustrating and it keeps me up at night because they don't realize how important it is for that to follow through. They don't know, they don't get it. Um, and I think one of the perceptions that really hurts us is like when somebody came in here earlier and like, how do you guys afford this? How does this all work? Like some people see what we're doing and I think they get the assumption that we're loaded. It's called free volunteer work. Yeah. We have volunteers, we work extremely hard. Uh, that's how it works. So, uh, that that's how it works. And, um, it means that, you know, we, we have to work extremely hard to do stuff that other people necessarily wouldn't. Um, and in, in some ways it's even harder for us because we have way more expenses than normal channels. Like way, way more, well, obviously. Um, and uh, thank you, Talona, for that follow. Very much appreciated. And, uh, oh, Jim Stuart Allen says it works because we care. Aww. Thanks, JSA. So nice. um, and the volunteers are amazing. And we're gonna get into that too, because uh, I think this is something I've had a problem with. Um, Pyrocyte just subscribed, holy shit! Uh, thank you for that Pyrocyte. Fuck yes. Uh, I'm waiting to see it pop up, but everyone else is doing the Who Am I thing, so I haven't seen it. <laughs> shit. Shit! Whoa, I can't see it in the in the mix and the hype and the crazy and the jello and the pudding. Uh, Do you want to eat jello? Nah, I'm all right. Uh, crap! Well, I didn't see what your position was, so you just do a Who Am I, and you'll be able to see what your position is on the Ojimbo. Rai Rai, if you're in the back, let's do a giveaway. Or if, or if Emily's here. Too, I don't know if you're interested. Oh, we could give away codes for Blue for Blue Apron. That's a sixty dollar fucking code. Uh, our latest thumper is the new integrated stable quality mechanic. What? Is it weird that I'm just like dancing at a table here? Hi. Hi. What's up, a vessel? Uh, thank you. Uh, sort of saying, just one. Um, so why don't we? Why don't we send him? Uh, Malika has four blue apron codes to give away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Barco Malarco, just cheered a thousand! Yay! Thank you for that. Thank you for that, Malika. Do you just want to sit in a chair here? So yeah, you don't have to I stand don't know, it, but like it's kind of weird. Like why? 
I think my face will be bigger than yours. Why? Because it's just, it's closer to the camera. Does it have a code? She has codes. So what was that? You just need their email, right? Yeah, I just yeah, need just their, their email. email and um, they like the first and last name, but I've, you know. Yeah, so instead of a SIM code, you're actually gonna get a $60 box of food. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So fuck yeah. Uh, and we have three more of those. No, I have four more. I already gave away one, so I have four left. I had five well, that, No, now three left, because right, you just yeah. gave away one. So three more, three more. Okay, so let's keep going through all this Wait, stuff. Wait, who was the winner? Uh, it was up there a long time ago, I already forgot. What? I already forgot, it was a long time ago. They're gonna get the email. Sir to Saiyan. Sir to Saiyan. Yeah. Um, okay, so. Uh, what are we talking about? I'm, I'm getting there. Okay. I'm getting there. So, uh, what was I gonna say? I was on a whole thing and then the subscriber just like totally blew my mind and distracted me. Um, oh yeah, we're doing all these things right. We have the data to show we're doing right and the number one problem we have is exposure. But there are other things we could be doing to help that when that exposure happens, we have even a higher retention rate, which is so high. Like it is so high compared to the rest of Twitch. Um, it's just so high for... Well that's, uh, that's but, because but still, of we can you do guys. better. We can do that's, better. You know, because... You know, they stick around. They care. Yeah, no, they care. They, they like stick believe. Around. Okay, I think. I can't speak for you guys, but it's because. I think it's because you believe in not having any tolerance mm -hmm. for jerks and fostering, you know, love. Yeah. Basically. That's not the way Zach it's would put it, but. It's not the way I would put it, but it, but it is because of you guys. And. And I'm gonna give you some information and I don't want you to freak out because I don't think that it means what I think you guys think it means. Uh, Ebert, three, thank you for resubscribing. Is that e -E Ebert? E -E Ebert. E -E Ebert. Uh, thank you for that, thank you for that. Bill Cosby would. No. 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 Yeah. It, it's what bothers me so much is that we'll have like, to just keep doing this, all because one person is that sad and lonely. What really bothers me is you could have actually had friends. Because this is a really amazing community. Okay, so. Continuing on. Uh, Megalo Blazemon, you're talking about a thunderclap. Uh, treat people the way you want to be treated is a great way to live. It really is. So, continuing on, uh, I only subbed to two channels, Hyper RPG and Punch Props. You were both more than worth it. Oh, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Punch Props. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's amazing. Real. Bill's amazing. He's so great. Uh, but because of you guys, we've been able to do what we've done so far. And the data I wanted to give you guys is, according to our accountant, we have three months of budget left. Which sounds scary, and sounds like absolutely like, holy shit, let's freak out. You guys shouldn't, and nobody else here should. I should, and I, I will. I don't. What? Okay, but what that means, that's not as scary as what it means. Uh, we're really close to breaking even per month. Yeah, um, which is really exciting. That's just what happens whenever it's kind of like, that's what's left to where then it's not breaking even, then we're collecting debt. And that's not what we want. We don't have that debt right now. Yeah. And, and that could put us in a scary place. So we're gonna be trying stuff yeah, in the next couple months. Yeah, it does sound scary, but to me, it's not a like, holy shit, let's freak out and jump out. Now's the time for us more than ever to, uh... oh shit, Clifton B. <laughs> hey, uh, that's Clifton. Yeah, I know, right? It's our buddy. Uh, yeah, but at least... No, breaking even is not bad when you're only eight months into a company, Big Show B3. Yeah. That's not bad. Right. That's actually pretty good if you break even within your first year. That's that's pretty good. Uh, so, no, that is accounting if we were to average what we averaged three months ago, which we're not. We are already doing better. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's a good question. Green eye trombone. Can we go back there? Yeah. When you say we have three months left, that means... Assuming you'll continue to make. As fuck, bro. I love you, Zach, even though your phone sucks on Discord. I love you too. Thanks for that. 
Thanks for that. Um, so, moving on. Oh, Saints Game just sent 4,000 a cheer. Thank you for that. Uh, thank Can you for that. Pom-poms? Can we get pom poms for yeah. cheering? If you want to get pom poms, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Uh, They're Forest Studios. Thanks for following us. So basically, what that means um, is if we were to average what we were averaging two to three months ago, which we're already higher than. So sure. I know in my head, I'm like, okay, it's more like five months. Okay, wait, wait. It's uh, being okay. based okay. on. Okay, so you're saying we have three months, given. If we continue on the same the path. same path that okay. we were on two to three months so ago, which if, I don't. If all we're of a sudden getting better. you know, like it, it just drops off. Then, if it dropped off, we're then it's. And that then, also means we don't have anything in our reserves right now to invest in marketing or anything like that. No, stuff. which we haven't for a long time. That's why we haven't done marketing because we can't. We just can't. So it's it's actually kind of worse than three months. No, not necessarily. We haven't been able to do any of these things in a long time because of that. We've always known that we don't have a yeah. budget. I mean, we're a startup. We don't have a budget that we can just go out and be like, all right, let's do a bunch of marketing here and let's do this and let's do that. Like we, we have to, we're working from the ground up, literally from the fucking ground up. It's like, oh geez, really? I, I could do that. I can push a button on, on a tablet. Okay. so. What that means, though, is you're going to see a lot of stuff that we're going to experiment with because we have to. And that's just a natural aspect. Um, that's a natural aspect of it. So if we try new shows out in the day to, to get more viewers in, things like that, we'll probably be doing more events and things like that. The good news and all that. And that's what, okay. And I, I wanted to tell you guys that to be open and right up there with you. But at the same time, to kind of rally the fucking troops a little bit, I think we can do this. I have not given up hope. I see it as I want to tell you because I want you to understand that we need to come together as a community. Um, we, we just need to come together as a community and work together to achieve these goals, which I know you guys want to. I know you want right. it to work or you wouldn't invest so much already. So you're going to start seeing us try to tighten up on the community a little bit because the, the number one thing that's important to us is the community. What do you mean by tighten up? That, I, do, I don't understand what that means. Thumper pride. All right. Basically. Thumper pride. So we're going to uplift the pride team thumper. Yeah, let's go. Basically, that. we unfortunately, I, know I noticed a trend like. that we weren't engaging you all enough as this community that you are. You're an amazing fucking community. And some of our verbiage was wrong. Some Hashtag of our branding was wrong. power doing good. Basically, for good. Yeah. Uh, so, and as, yeah, I'm going to get to that, Minker. I'm going to get to that. The other thing is, We've already got a bunch of meetings lined up. There's a lot of things in the like very near future of things that I think are gonna help a lot. Aww. We just gotta keep fucking kicking ass until those things happen. People are interested in what we're doing. The statistics show how fucking great it is. Uh, how like amazing it is for our retention and, and with the reach that we have. Like brands do wanna work with us. We just need those numbers to be a little higher for them to then give us money to work with us. Uh, it's the unfortunate situation of marketers not having the right data. Too many people have spent like this influencer idea where they think higher numbers of followers oh, yeah, equal more think, output. Yeah, but only, we can actually show with our data that higher output means stronger fans. Yeah. Um, it, it's, a, it's a bunch of back end business kind of talk thing that we're working on that we're trying to fix, uh, create the, get rid of those assumptions. And we're working extremely hard on them. We just got an offer of free stickers. That was really kind. Free stickers? Yeah, Fucking free take stickers. it. Yeah. We'll take it. Okay, so that's the other thing I want to talk to you about. One of my problems is I too often think that we can do it ourselves. Yeah. And uh, DT Falcor, thank you for that follow. One of the problems that I've had yeah. is I way too often. Wax 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 thank you for following. You're is, a wonderful wabbit. I sit Welcome there and tell myself the that. Well, is fuck, bro. What? Oh, this is a great one. I used a D20 roller to tell me how much I was going to donate, and I got a natural 20. So here is a natural $20. Bam! Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you for that. Very much appreciate it. Uh, Good roll. So basically. A lot of you all have offered to help in the past. Yeah. And I get in that weird zone uh, of 
wanting to do it myself because yeah. we pay people here. But then it's like, you guys have already invested so much time in it and I know how bad you want it and a lot of people offer, I need to start saying yes to that. Mm -hmm. uh, some people we do. Okay, so right off the bat, I want a huge fucking shout out to Pete Wiz, to Void Smoker, to, uh, not, uh, so Love Void that. Smoker is one of our like yeah. amazing artists that does everything. Lord Cario does art for everything. Commander Dunsale, mm -hmm. um, to Alien Knitter, um, to, I already said Pillow Zach, right? And Pete no, Wiz, you didn't. You and said Pete Wiz, but also And Vanderleest. Yeah. I want some mad love for those guys, uh, and to all of our mods, of course, but them in particular put so many extra hours into making this work. Yeah. Vanderlease was supporting our website for a very mm -hmm. long time. Right now, I am rebuilding our website, which mm -hmm. is something we'll talk about some more in a little bit. But Vanderlease worked so long on trying to keep that updated for everyone on, based on what they were asking. Pillowzak makes all of our custom software. He's an amazing individual. Alienator is kind of like, the Look super mod hearts. that's like See, asking, he's awesome. trying to like, yeah, he's trying to like figure out all this other stuff that's going on. Uh, Pete Wiz helped out a lot with the Shadowrun meta game when it was first opening up, and helps out a lot with other back end things all around the place. You know, Megalo Blazemon, I want to give a shout out to for the video editing help that they've helped with, and some of the other community members that have helped with that. Commander Dunsale worked as a kind of liaison between the HBS community and our community, and helping people in that community come over and get them engaged and in our content. And learn about all that like BattleTech stuff and Shadowrun. Yep. Seriously, all of you, all of you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You've done so much, and I don't want you all to take the blunt Aww. of the, like, the blunt of the work. You've yeah. been doing a lot, and I think right. it's time we spread it out a little bit more, and we start working with other community members to, like, be a team of thumpers. We have an amazing fucking community. You guys are absolutely mm -hmm. amazing, and... And, and what I wanted to get to earlier when I said that I could just be streaming on my own and I could oh, be doing Collins this. Oh, Collins is on here because of Commander Dunsales too. There you go. See, uh, that helps. That I could be doing this on my own channel, I could be doing this and that, and it... The reason I don't want to, and then, honestly the reason it was so hard for me to leave Geek and Sundry. Um, uh, uh, Bafana, Bafana72, we are, we are a hyperactive, interactive, community-driven channel. We do all sorts of very large content that involves everything from role-playing games to group gaming with friends in the sense of like a giant LAN party which is tomorrow with guest streamers. We're gonna be playing La Paragon with four people in the same room. Uh, what, what messing with the VR, AR, competitive gaming, chat interaction, LAN parties, pre-releases, indie games, developer interviews, release events, yeah. and alternative Yes, gaming. not to mention the mods that help with graphic content and trivia hops. We have a couple mods that are helping with trivia hops that do a ton of mm -hmm. fucking work on it. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate that so much. Jim Stewart um, Allen's like, check me out tomorrow. Yep, Jim Stewart's gonna be here tomorrow as well. Um, and the reason it was so hard for me to leave Geek and Sundry in the first place, and, and Malika knows this, the only thing that made me not wanna leave because there was a lot of things I wanted to leave because, and the only thing that kept me there was the community. Yeah. I Absolutely. work really hard on that. And honestly, I tell people, like, the number one thing, like, for this kind of channel, it's like, yes, production is hard. Yes, yeah. all this other stuff is hard. Community. E Ebert, thank you for that. 1,000 cheer. Thank you for that so much. Oops. Um, the number one thing that we work on. It's my alarm. That is the most important thing is community. I think with anything like this, Twitch itself is a community-driven platform, and that's what's important to us. That's what we want to be doing Didn't you is tell working me with community. It was it was easier to tell Felicia that you were leaving them leaving to, tell the them to tell the community. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. The amount of letters, well, she was, yeah. but the amount of letters I had gotten from people mm -hmm. about helping them through tough times and all that yeah. stuff, like we had created something really amazing as a yeah, community, absolutely. and it's still there. And I do love I, that that absolutely. it's that my brother gets to continue on with that, and Team Human gets to continue on with that. I wanted to recreate that here but in a more involved way. I wanted to have a community here that didn't just get to be, you know, being a fan of the shows and helping each other out and all being together in this fight to just ignore all the bullshit in the fucking world. Uh, but to actually like... Aw, Cider Raven says, I, all I have to do is just smile and dance. Yeah. <laughs> um, but to be involved, to like have a channel where you actually feel like you're a part of it. You're a part of the storytelling. You're a part of what we're doing on the channel. Yeah. We play games with you. We want to be. Yeah. We want. We want to be your. Honestly, like, 
I never played online games till I got into this kind right. of stuff. I play online games now, but Ooh. Fandom Fandom 72, thank you for that follow. Thanks for following. I play online games now because of you all, because I get to play in the chat room and smack talk with you guys and let you beat me at games and you think you're really cool for doing it, but I'm not that good, so whatever, it doesn't matter. Just, it's whatever. Uh, but, <laughs> um, we, it wouldn't happen without you all. I know that. And it's because of you all that I want it so bad to work. If there wasn't that connection, if I didn't give a shit, it, it wouldn't matter. I, I could be like, well, it's a failed business, but it's not that to me. It's, it's, it's more than that. Like, I feel the pressure that you don't put on me, but exist because you're there. And, and then I don't want to disappoint you guys. I don't want, you know, like we've all invested in this. You've invested in this. You watch, you work with us to make the shows better, you know, like, if you guys are watching, you know, The Gauntlet, I know there's a good show there and it improves every week. Like we promised you it would, but a lot of that's because of you guys' tips and your feedback. We need that. That's what's exciting about this content to me, that we get to live test things as a creative individual and a creative company and have you give it back to us. So Myth Legends says, all the people who answered my questions are the reason this is the best community. Thank you for your information share. And your presence is deeply missed on GNS, but it's been a great thing because you have created two great communities. Which I also like. I think yeah. there should be more places like this on the internet. And no, I, which it, it, I it honestly, really awesome. honestly awesome. fucking wish Twitch would put this stuff in the forefront more because yeah. they're continuing to put people on the front page and support people who don't give a shit, who have really hostile communities, who say racist things, who say hateful things. Or sometimes and, it's and just ignorant. And that's ignorant. just like, and ignorant things. I, and, it, and it's just not... It really upsets me because it's like you're you're a part of the problem if you're not a part of the solution, honestly. If you don't give a shit to be a part of the solution, you're part of the fucking problem, and I will fight you. <laughs> I mean that. As as uh, as Bronze Girl said, I have a Thanks shovel really in my something. car and I will fucking bury you. So be a part of the solution, uh, oh. and make things better for. Can we help everybody. you guys get attention from Twitch, Zach? No. Um, unless you work there. Unless you, Do work, you there. work there. Let us know. Yeah. So, that being said. But also spreading the word in your own communities, whether that's just your board gaming group or your friends or your family, little Facebook group you participate in, little subreddit. You know, um, if you just want to give us a shout out about the channel, about a specific show. Yeah. Maybe just a funny thing that happened on a certain day. Okay, so we're gonna get we're gonna get to like all that. It's on my list. Okay, okay. so one of the things that I really want you guys to help with, and, and I know a lot of it is just like we just have to tell you. We just have to tell you and you'll start doing it. Inminker is really great at doing clips. He does clips constantly. Um, all of you should start doing clips. And the reason is because now we can download them with just a right click. We don't have time as a company because we can't afford a video editor to scythe through all of our footage to hire someone to go through everything and download it all. Because uh, of your work, uh, I got into D&D, and got involved in the Lincoln Gaming Store, uh, and now nice. runs um, their own campaign. That's Isn't awesome. That I love hearing when people are like, I got into role playing because yeah. of the stuff you've done. Yeah, and on honestly, I got into role playing because of the stuff we've done. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like it's... Um, well, honestly, like, I just felt, like, so intimidated. Yeah. You know, it just seemed like, oh my god, to GM or to play these games, I have to, like, study a book this big over and over again, and that doesn't sound fun. Kristen and I was think like, I would super people... be a volunteer video editor. I'm not gonna say no, that's what this meeting is all about. I'm not gonna say no anymore. I need the help. Hey, Clifton went to art school. I know, I know. Um, okay, so... Basically, why clips are good is it's you guys saying, I like that moment. It's a community-driven way for us to go to our My Clips page, right-click them and download them, and put them into an editing timeline. And the long-term goal would be able to say, we have, like, a weekly highlight reel that we can put out. Yeah. We can't afford to do that right now right. because it takes way too long. And then, yeah, and then you can submit that to Twitch's weekly shows and I can also just stuff. put it on YouTube and, and we can put it on Facebook and it's gonna help new people find out that we're having fun here. We are allowed to submit stuff? Yes, Galactic Well, you Shot. just clip it. All you yeah. do is clip it and we'll download all of them. Mm -hmm. And that's you saying that was my favorite moment mm -hmm. 
and it makes it so much faster and easier for us. And honestly, what I want to do is I build a template and on that template, it's like funniest moment of the week, you know, yeah, most intense moment of the week, in. best yeah. Zach getting ganked yeah. moment of the week or whatever, because it'll happen every fucking week. And you just slide in the clip. We have a clip, we have a Dropbox folder and we can give it to somebody even in the community that can just put it in and then we edit it out and it's great. Um, it makes it a lot easier. The fact is like clips are what help with that. Um, Aww. So. Look at all these people who are so like getting ready, like they're putting this in their, their this, schedule yeah, yeah, this is to what like I want. help us. That's really touching. Uh, that's play the game, right? Uh, best chicken and waffle moment, right? Uh, best face palm of the week is a good one too. Okay, so uh, Optic Sam Slam. Thank you for that follow. Very much appreciated. So what I'm asking in that instance is, and this is like, I'm going through a checklist tonight of things that we need for the channel that all of sure. us here are so fucking crazy overworked that we don't have the output to do it. I don't want anyone watching to feel pressured or feel like we're saying we need it to happen or we'll fail. Mm -hmm. I'm saying if someone has the time and they want to help, these yeah. are ways that you can help. Uh, oh, does Artie, honestly, that's why we exist. Yeah. And, I, and I talk to Malika about that sometimes, other people like, I love making serious art, sure. but what I've found joy in doing this kind of stuff yeah. is creating art for people that makes them forget how shitty the world can be sometimes. Because we're all going life. through the same battle. Yeah. All of us are going through the same fucking battle. Um, we, Every yeah, single person time. that you might say something shitty to out there, like for all the stupid fucking trolls that might be watching, every shitty thing you, you feel and you put out there because you think that your shitty feelings are more important than other people's, they're going through the same shitty shit and you have no idea what they're going through <laughs> and we're all in this fight together. And I like that we're making content that can allow you to just fucking forget about that for a little bit and share an experience with other people that brings joy and a little bit of happiness to you oh, that you can so escape nice. that. Everybody's writing like you have lots of supporters here. Yeah, that's, that's what we're here for honestly. You have a community that can share the joy with you. So when you go through something bad, we're here to support you. And that's the fucking idea. Um, you know, I, I feel like they've been there for me too, you know? Well, yeah, they've, yeah, they've that's been true. You know, it's not, it's not just like a one-way kind of, it's, it's a dialogue, not a monologue. Mm -hmm. They've been, the community, I mean, has come through. I mean, we're still, we're at a critical point right now on Hyper RPG. I'm sorry, I'm not speaking, in, <clears throat> speaking up, but we're at a critical point and look at all these people who are like, I'll volunteer time. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, they're like making time on their schedule for us, which is really touching. It's, it's very special. Yes, yeah, Severus, I know I've seen you make some posts in the chat before, and like, honestly, if you guys need anything, you know... Okay, that's it. Uh, um, Emily, if you're still here, I want you to make a new room in Discord, or Alienator, you yeah, can do it. Yeah, we should. Make a room in Discord that is purely titled, like, Hugs. Chum, uh, chum, chum, Jim, thank Yay! you for that! Thanks! Thank you for that. Thank you, yeah, Emily. We should, we God should have that. Make one called Hugs. Yeah. If you're going through a tough time or just had a and you need some day. support and right. you've had a crappy day, use that room to share your experience and you've got our support. You'll have it. And Someone send lots of virtual hugs to we'll the have, people who We'll have it. your back. Uh, yeah. I guarantee you of that. So let's have a room just for that. I think we need it. Actually, I have a phone. I can do this. Oh, Emily just did it. Okay, awesome. She just made it. Well, I'm going to post a picture of my dog in there. With like hearts or something. Like Should it be sub only? We can make non sub rooms. You know, that's a really good question, oh, Alienator. That's a good question. Uh, that's a really good question. We've never had non sub rooms in our Discord before, but if we were going to have a non sub one, it could definitely be a hugs room and maybe one other room. Maybe there could be a hugs room that's non sub, and there could be like a uh, daily announcements room that nobody else can post in but is non sub to see it. Okay. We got is need to make a bigger deal of bits. Well, we've we're working on that. About yeah, we're, we're working on that. Then now see the thing with the bits is like Oh, I'm getting so oh, the, the the thing with bits is that it only really works when we have new viewers coming in. Uh, no, it's so Each bit is only like one, one cent one cent each yeah. bit is one cent. Yeah um, You did yeah, yeah you, no he know like okay. yeah um 
So yes, uh, what was I trying to say? That, let's see here. Um, yeah, there's a couple rooms we can make non-sub. And I think that's actually a good idea because I don't want to discredit the people who are a really big part of this community. Um, yeah. All right. So what I was trying to say about the, the video editing thing and the clips, I want someone to be assigned to that. That I can that can report to me, someone who has the time and is willing to remind people to make clips. That's going to make clips um, and can help with managing them. I'll give them access to the Dropbox folder where they can be saving this clips into the Dropbox. Is honest hey! Hugs, honesty hour, corporate court, and executive lounge are all accessible to non-subs. Go forth and conquer. Boom. A boom. Thank you, sort of saying. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Um, yeah, Zeus like 20, 2270. God, that's the thing about the hugs room, though. It should be like safe. It needs as to be much safe. As we can, as do we it, can make it safe. Right? Yeah. It, it's worth discussing. It's worth discussing. Yeah. So, all these things I have on the list tonight, I want someone to volunteer themselves to be the through kind of link there and I will set up a weekly meeting with them each person that's in charge of this and it'll be a one-on-one -on -one discussion with me about what's happening and what's going sure. on because you guys are in here a lot I'm gonna be out a lot in the coming months too because I have to be at TwitchCon I'm gonna be at New York City Comic Con um, that's, that's like cool. two weeks in a row does that mean I don't I'm not gonna see you you're gonna be at TwitchCon with me I'm not, okay. but not New York City Comic Con yeah, yeah. um can monitor the hug room and ban anyone who is a troll in it. Yeah. Yeah. Room's already up. And I'm sure you guys are already sharing help in there. Uh, so. Just, okay. So, uh, we made a new room in our Discord. So, for anyone that wants to be in charge of one of these things, it's called improvements. I want you to post an improvements that you want to be the person in charge of this. And you will be my liaison. And you and I will have a conversation. Okay? So there's that, there's the clips. And working with me on getting clips so we can make weekly highlight reels because those will help the channel. It yeah. gives us something to share on socials that people just don't know we exist can see how much fun we're having and that's a cool time. Okay, next one is emotes. We need new emotes. Uh, we need new emotes and... He's telling me to look at the hug room. It's I'll start melting or something. Oh. <laughs> I'm soft hearted, guys. Uh, Apparently AJ wants to go to Comic-Con so bad with you, Zach. Oh, I bet he does. Because there's cool shit that's going to be happening there. And I can't tell any of you about it. Um, so. Oh, I think it's also time that we should change the stream and the category for anyone in the back. If you're still here, we could probably change it to, you know. Because we've eaten all the chicken and waffles. Honestly. Wait, what did you want me to do? Change the category? No, no, no. Somebody else could probably... If, if Emily's in the back, I think she still is. Um, I think we have space for four more emotes. Um, I know that we want to do a derp face for all the times that somebody on the channel does something derpy because there's a difference between face palmy and derpy and we talked about doing goober's face. So the person that would be in charge of emotes, it's not necessarily for you uh, to make the emotes is to work with the community talking in discord and stuff about which emotes Bafana Bafana 72 says how many employees do you have I'm the CEO and then we have three employees that's it and we run over 12 hours of programming a day right now for the most part most nights it's been over 12 hours five days a week sometimes on the weekends doing big events uh, all programs Jim thank you hey, for that follow thanks thank for you following, Jim. Jim okay so Whoever is the person that wants to be in charge of modes, put in the improvements tab, and you would Malik be the person. A knife yeah. over her head. You would be the person working with the community to curate all the emote ideas, and then working with me on picking which ones are actually better, based on us doing research together, yeah. of what would actually be good for the channel. Because any emote doesn't work for the channel. Certain things work better, like a shark, because you want to put a shark in someone else's chat room. You want to put hype in someone else's chat room mm -hmm. when you're doing raids and stuff like that. Like, it, it helps. Okay, so next. Shirt ideas. So, I have shirt ideas. All right, well, do you want to be in charge of that? Is that your category? You don't have time. 
No, I, I wonder if I'm more useful in others. You wanted to help me with video editing. Well, yeah, is, yeah. That, is that a little rare? Well, actually, yeah. I'm doing the slide deck too. Oh, we're working know. on the slide deck, the business slide deck. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm doing that first, then the video second, and then the shirt thing is third. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, so shirt ideas. We're already going to be making a Keep Calm and Feed the Arm shirt with the little half of a bloodshot circle on it. Lord Cario put that up on Twitter. I got oh, the file good. from him. I was working on it today. So good. we're going to put that one up. So we'll have a Vanquish shirt that says Keep Calm and FYI, Feed the Arm. FYI, guys. T-shirt ideas should be vector. Well, I mean, ideas doesn't mean they have to do the art. That's it's, true. Oh, well, the idea is we use somebody who's sure. in charge of curating, talking to the community, yeah. what kind of shirts they want to see, what needs to be out there. Uh, uh, if you guys want it to be small teams, that's fine. We can set you up with a private room in Discord where you can chat and collect things. Like, we can make this work. We just need you to talk to Emily and I about well, what you think works. That's a good idea. There are a bunch of really great quotes for shirts, and then they, they, we could just use, because it's Teespring, right? We just type them in. Mm -hmm. That saves time. Well, I'm also thinking about setting that. up a Teespring store instead of doing yeah. the weekly sales on Teespring. Yeah, the store um, is good. Because that way people can buy when it's convenient for them. And for info is on the back of shirts. Yeah, and a lot of people complain about that, which is a real shame. We have a lot of people actually message us saying they won't buy our shirts because it has the information about our stream on the back of it, which is, those aren't team players, is what I'll say. Like, that's like, What's the point in us making a shirt if you don't know who it's for for the company? Like, well, those people just like want decoration on their body. I know, and it's it's a real bummer. Okay, it doesn't have to be Teespring. One kill hey! quota. Thank you for subscribing. Very much Welcome appreciated. You are awesome. You are Yojimbo's regional airlock talent organizer. Airlock talent Ooh, organizer. I, I, that's, that's that's. You have the job I want, my friend. That is pretty cool. Thanks for being a lady. You were on LAN party, yes. that's, oh, that's right. But you have the job I want. I want to be the person that stands at the airlock deciding on which talent gets pushed out the door again. Oh, is that what that that's is? That's the, it's the airlock talent I, I control. Thought, I thought maybe, okay. Oh, all right. Yep. Now I know what you'll do to us. Well, you know. Um, okay. That's one thing is shirt ideas. That way we can always have new shirts going up and things you guys are excited about. Now the biggest thing with this is like people who are involved in the community that can be on Discord and talking to people and really gauging what are you act what are people actually excited by? Sure. You know like we don't want to put out something that nobody wants because yeah. then it just sits okay, there. Okay, so some, we have to put work into. All right, it. this is like a dual question. Does it have to be Teespring? And then somebody asked about um, bigger or smaller sizes. It doesn't have to be. Now I've sure. been talking to Amazon about their new T-shirt program, yeah. which I really want because right. it makes you searchable in your their SEO. Oh, nice. To where if nice. people search for Hyper RPG on Google, right? Fucking Amazon T-shirt pops up. Because there there are other services out there. I I want actually this is a question for the community since I like maybe might be the t-shirt person. Are you guys interested in like a thinner shirt? A different cut shirt? Like some of the other services? I know a lot of people are upset with Teespring because they don't have large enough shirts. Yeah, that and I, you know. And I, I know Amazon would be able to do People would feel like weird because you know, they don't fit in a certain range. You know, that always feels shitty. But um, like, for example, I know like Designed by Humans has really nicely made shirts. Right. Or like that kind of thing. What kind of apparel are y'all looking for? Let us know. Let us know. So there's that. That should be a team working that aspect. And I want all this stuff to be positive, guys. I don't want this to be like Zach's telling us we have to do blah, blah, blah. I want us to fucking rally the troops. Okay? Like, uh, it, it's, it's... <sighs> Does that mean we can get v necks Dude, if you want, I want plunging v necks let me know. Uh, and if you don't, let me know. A shirt with my face on it, this is a hyper RPG. I would think that would be such a cool shirt. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. We'll definitely make a shirt with just your face on it. Actually, we'll just put your face in and it'll go, wow! 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 And there'll be like a little covered wagon in the background, like in the horizon line. Wow. You know. Oregon Trail. Uh, okay. V-neck plunge down to the belly button. Sure. Yeah, it can we make a shirt chilly. with a GSA voice in it? <laughs> okay. Do you guys so, want shirts for your dogs? On. Okay, we can't, come on, all right. Moving on. And, and like I said, this is about rallying the troops, guys. The, we haven't given the community enough focus. I know these kind of things actually bring the community together. I want us to work together to make this fucking work. 
Um, so you're gonna see us start being a little protective of that community too. And when I mean protective, I mean we're here for you, but we, we wanna keep you here. And we wanna find ways to make you want to be here. You know, when you go and join other people's communities, it almost hurts this community because we're so small. We are really that small that when it gets splintered, it hurts us. So if we can do things better to make you feel more welcome and make you wanna be here more, we wanna know what that is. And put that in the improvements tab and I'll make Emily read it. <laughs> okay. Uh, God, I would buy a kaiju shirt all day every day. Yeah. Um, Dude, we own that dog. Okay, next thing is website. And what I mean by website is I, I wanna tell you I'm working on it. I just got a new uh, server because I understand the server we're currently on is fucking terrible and makes our site load so slow. Oh yeah, that host So I got a new hosting horrible. service. Uh, I also got us a new template that I'm building that cool. will be do more you, in line with what we currently have as our look. Do you um, need web dev help? I do, but we do have some people already helping That's us with that. But if there are other people that we just didn't know in right. our community that are really good at that stuff, Actually, let us know hey. because we do have people like Vanderleest and Pillowzak are helping a lot. But if there are people who are really good at it that want to help, we can find ways to help. Anybody with like motion graphics, HTML5, or jQuery experience, you should add them down to your team. Just putting that out there. If I just described you, we would really appreciate your help. No pressure. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Zach tweets go stop bugging him with trivial and consequential shit. Zach, put your trivial and consequential in Discord and I'll make Emily read it. Uh, there's a difference, Final Fantasy Master, between people putting things in an improvements tag and messaging Emily directly saying, do this, do that, do that. You can't tell Emily what to do. I can. That's my job. Okay. Uh, Emily does so much. She does a lot. Oh, poor thing. She does a lot. Uh, Genova Plus. You're helping a lot every day by being here yeah, and watching. That's all we need. That's all we need. And that's something I want to make extremely, extremely clear. You guys do a lot. And like I said, don't feel pressured. This community is fucking amazing. That's that's I, it. If you want to help, here's the opportunities and why I, we need the help. I, here's the way I would look at it. You see, we're about a collaborative environment. And I think that makes us stronger and closer together. You know this because you've worked on a film set with film yeah. crew. Oh my God, when you that film comes out, you are like in love with each other because you've spent so much time together. And we do things like collaborative yeah. storytelling with the tabletop RPGs. We play games with each other. This could be a really awesome opportunity, especially the people who want to express themselves creatively for us to work together and actually build a stronger bond. There we go. And that's kind of the thinking. Uh, like I said, I see some people posting stuff. Make sure you post in Discord, because we're not going to remember this shit. Discord, we can actually scroll through. Okay. Uh, Emily, read this. Done. I told Emily what to do, and she did it. Sup, Zach. 1v1 me, bro. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh... Um, you know, somebody who says they don't have relevant skills. Uh... We're not done yet. We're not done? We're not done yet. There's more. All right. The next thing that we're going to be doing is on the new website, there will be a forum. And the reason we're doing that is a lot of people wanted us to do Reddit. It doesn't work. And we knew it wasn't going to work. Everybody bugged us to do it. We put time into it. And it doesn't work. Uh, so we know now. Like, sure. it just it doesn't work. So we're going to have a forum on our website, which we'll be able to use for, like, the uh, hopefully we'll be able to put the Shadowrun blogs there. We'll be able to do updates on shows and like have actual tabs for the shows you like and want to have a discussion board on those shows. That's the like idea. Long form discussion, long -form discussion board on shows, individual shows. Um, do you know, or maybe somebody in the chat room know, are there any like PHP BBS type things um, where you can log in with your Twitch account? So instead of having to pick another new account, you know, like I'll look people into use it. Google I'll look into Plus it. to sign yeah, 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 yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll look you into know, it. Like... Twitch doesn't integrate too much with logins. Mm -hmm. It's usually Google, Facebook, or Twitter. Sure. They don't integrate too much with logins. Yeah, but maybe I'll even it, any of those where you can link another account versus like create another new thing and then you forget the password and then you <laughs> don't participate. So cool. Okay, so. And that's a way because we want to keep you guys, like I said, within the community. And I think that would be a great thing to do. So in that yeah, sense- Yeah, PHPBB. That's what I've, I've used before. Mm -hmm. um, just gonna install like a few things because there are bots that will crawl those and post like 
like sex stuff. And, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure that we put some proper protection in there. Okay, I talked about the weekly clip videos. Um, one thing I want us to do is update the fan pack. But what we need to know is what do you guys want to see in the fan pack that's not currently in there? So. Genova Plus says you can Ooh, help with Hyper RPG web forums be a place I could run play by post RPGs? That would be fucking awesome. Yeah, that would be pretty That'd be cool. really cool. We could set up different rooms for different RPGs. I love that shit. I love like the Twitter RPGs that get played out. It's so cool. Yeah, we could do that. We could definitely do that. Uh, yeah, so we need to update the, the, uh, the fan pack. Um, so put that in the improvement type of stuff that you wish was in there that's not in there right now. Sure. Glitter in the fan pack. Yeah. Ooh, so Co-Carnage does have a login that uses your Twitch. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. Well, let me figure out, we'll look at what he uh, uses. Um, so, Bafana Bafana. Um, we can't afford it. We can't afford it. And we've heard some a other lot. like people who are doing that kind of thing openly. And their community might not necessarily Doesn't translate mesh. to our community. There are some that do. There are yeah. some that do. But... We, 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 we were like considering one, and then it was like they call women girls all the time. And Darius like, oh. ruined S2 dreams. Thanks for following Thanks us. For following. Welcome aboard the Yojimbo. We can get a form that uses Twitch and or Discord for login, just confirm. Yeah, that, there would, we go. Be, that would be really good. Boom, Alienator, send me that plugin info. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a WordPress site, so just send me the plugin info. Uh, so, okay, so moving on. Honestly, it was supposed to be Geek and Tundry was going to do that for me whenever we agreed to leave properly, considering it, I built them up to be the most subscribed to channel on Twitch. They were supposed to do that for me. Well, they, you know, they didn't deliver on other promises. We won't get into that. Okay, the other thing is metagame improvements are coming. So... The uh, the metagame improvements should be happening extremely soon. Oh, that's exciting. Hashtag Wuxing. Yes. So, uh, we're working on them. We're working on them as a team. Yeah. Uh, I wish I could get them out faster. Now, the unfortunate thing is because of all this other stuff I'm telling you about, it won't be as fast as I want it to be. Like, it just won't be. So, the, uh, the big thing is I wish it could be out immediately. <coughs> um, but it, it's gonna take time so it, it's gonna take time but we want to listen to all of you guys' feedback we've taken a lot of feedback from a lot of people we've heard the complaints we want more people interacting with it we put a lot of work into that and it's actually one of the things uh, I'm surprised there's no stream team for all the people involved who do personal streams as well um, Tekken Daggers that's something I wish we could do honestly uh, I wish we could do that um, uh, I don't, like, I wouldn't need those personal streamers to actually want, like, come to me as wanting to be a part of that team. But, you know, like, Goobs is already a part of a team. Mm -hmm. Viking Last is already a part of a team. I think you can be a part of multiple teams. I think you can, too. Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, so, also, Alienair said they're working on a survey for that. So, the thing is, like, when we, when we pitch that metagame to people and we show them that website, they're holy shit impressed. It's one of the number one ways for us when we're talking to people, um to actually get like... Yeah, because I don't know anything out there that's like that. Yeah. It's like, hey, we live stream this RPG and people can play this meta game and where yeah. they can hire the players. Now you guys have actually live. been playing yeah. and there's things that you wish were there. Uh, um, so, we want to know what you wish was there to make you want to play it more. You know, because that, honestly, it's a great idea. I think it's just our implementation of that idea hasn't been very, done very well. And if we implement it better and get you more excited about playing it, because honestly, it's such a cool fucking thing. It's so cool. It is really cool. We just got to implement it better. Yeah. Okay, so we're working on that. Like Alienator said, there's a survey being worked on. Um, okay, so I talked about... The He's change so up of the shows. A yeah. Okay. Here's another thing. Um, I want someone to help Emily. Now, this is something I had help from Toronto Gal at uh, Geek and Sundry yeah. because of Team Human and stuff like that. And that help was invaluable. Mm -hmm. I would love for someone to volunteer to be kind of Emily's 
right hand man or woman. Um, so the right hand person to help Emily out with community engagement and questions and to help especially with surveys. Yeah. Uh, just like there's a survey for the metagame, I would love for there to be more surveys that collect more data on you mm -hmm. guys because Twitch's data is fucking terrible. Yeah. Uh, or polls. Yeah, polls, metagame, mm -hmm. or surveys, things like that, that would help with like, um, just, just helping us get a better idea of what you all actually want as a community and some of those things we'll be able to act upon and other things uh, we won't be able to because they don't bring in new viewers and things like that. It's all about balance. Some things we have to do to bring new viewers in, other things we want to make sure that you guys are excited to be here and that you feel like Aww. you're being listened to and that we care about your... Geica puts up hand. Geica, yeah. right on. All right. Uh, okay, the next one. And I might put this on somebody like Lord Cario and ask them to straight up, will you do this for us? Is fan art curation and discovering. Okay. Um, keeping an eye out for fan art that comes out from our shows, helping boost the people wanting to do it, mm -hmm. and making challenges and stuff like that, and working with yeah. us to make people want to do fan art more. The thing is, like, I think all of our shows paint really interesting pictures. Sure. Um, obviously we don't have the community of Critical Role, but it was the fan art community that drove that show. And one of the things, there are so many, so many that drove it. One of the things was the fan art. Um, so I feel like our RPGs and we paint a lot of different vivid pictures. Vanquish has its own pictures that it paints. Shadowrun has its own pictures that it paints. Yeah, for sure. uh, we're going to be working really the hard on these gladiators. Is super inspiring. Yeah. That's why we can do a whole RPG. Right. Um, so we need someone to kind of help us with that. And who understands, like, I'm an artist, you're an artist, but we're not a part of the oh, fan art community. Thanks, Leangelis. You know, and then also, like... The Mystery I Fan think, Art was good, Crid. I think great. for some of the most talented artists who do do fan art, one of their incentives for doing it is also self-serving. Not only are they a huge fan, but it's like, oh, and it also gets me exposure as an artist. So if there's a person kind of curating it, and then maybe you can make like a highlight video every week or something, that kind of incentivizes some really like stunning artists to do fan art for the mm -hmm. shows. I mean, I just saw somebody who was doing amazing fan art for another show who is a local here, and I don't think has ever watched Hyper RPG, you know? So, yeah, I'm not asking you guys to do the art. I'm asking for someone who's a part of that community to help us find the art that's already been done mm -hmm. and brainstorm with us ways to engage that community, make them feel appreciated. What do you want to see? What would make you want to do more? We need to have that conversation and we need to have that discussion. Or, or like somebody who's really like, Tumblr savvy on the fan art stuff, that would be great. So we're, I mean, yeah, I feel like we, we have tons so of shows that would yeah. work really well for fan art. We just don't have the fan art audience, and and I think that a valiant vanquished comic book. That's I know it'd be so fucking cool. Okay, yeah, so that's one thing. Um, you know, the other things, you know, like I've been working on a trailer for the channel for so long, and I'm just so beat down. I don't have time to do it. Um. Let's see, I think Sojin actually hit one of the things that make yeah, Critical Role as big so as it is, emotion. It was nearly bawling at the end of the last episode. That's powerful stuff, as Zach said. It's a lot of things. Uh, that's that's one small part of it, Kellandros. For one, the story's been gone long enough for you to get attached cool. to those characters, so when those emotional moments happen, they mean something. DFA has had just as many of those emotional moments. You're just not as connected to the characters yet. And there's also been some really, really heavy emotional right. moments on that show. Um, you just haven't had the time to get connected to them unless people watch it. So. Well, also, I think we're all working on balancing how much to externalize our inner conflicts, feelings, emotions, that kind of thing. Um, it's it's kind of hard. It's hard. Yeah. Oh, wow. Clifton B says that there's a fan art event for games by local devs. Yeah, is that in Portland? Yeah. Uh, UOV cool. Avenge, again, you guys just put that in the improvement tab. Yeah. Otherwise, I, it's, it's just, I'm going to lose it here. Yeah. I'm going to lose it. So just let us know in that improvement tab on Discord. Uh, I like this song. 
Um, yeah, and, and I do agree that the Critical Role fans, in some ways, weren't managed properly, and, and they were allowed to become belligerent and over-entitled, and they don't understand that it's a community effort to some extent. So they only like what that is and don't like anything else, and that's problematic, and it's something I tried to avoid, but they fought me on it every step of the way. Um, which is hard, and I don't want this channel to become that. Uh, I don't want that to become that. Um, Let's make it, oh, improvement sort of notifier. Okay. Do you cool, guys, cool, cool. Do you guys use email? We do, we have a, uh, our like me, at Hyper or at Hyper RPG or in, we have an info, but we also have, oh we have a hello at Hyper hello RPG. At Hyper, yeah. yeah, so we should yeah, because that way it can get farmed to so mm -hmm. Ryan or Emily or you or the person in charge now. Uh, well, it's not, it's not. Let's not turn this into a discussion yeah, let, about Critical Role. Honestly, about, you will not help us yeah. if we turn this into a discussion about Critical Role. Oh, Mal. Good night. All right, Sleep later, Mal. Tight. Happy birthday again. All right, is that the bottom of your list? I think that's honestly all my list. The other big thing, like I said, is what do you want to see? Absolutely. You know, Let's hear from you guys. Uh, yeah. Like, what do you want to see? Well, I mean, that's why we do this show, Sajjus, and that's, what, that's why I'm here right now, because I understand that you can't, like, in this kind of environment where you're, we're asking to be a part of the community, if I was just sitting behind a wall and not communicating with you, you wouldn't be as attached. We, we know that, like... More I'm not gonna do a D and D show. You up. Yeah, we're not gonna do a D and D show. We're not. It would like it's a terrible idea. And I can tell you that. Yeah, and that is part of it, Jim. We know that. We know that. We got all that data. Uh, we got all that data. More cooking. Yeah, we we've been doing a lot of cooking. I'm gonna go back through and see if there's been any other good stuff. Can maybe one day you do the cooking and we play Malika's favorite games like. Kirby and the Crystal Shards and Super mm -hmm. Mario 64 and then we can dance DVR and um, you know, play cute stuff. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, Bob had a question in Discord. Would you prefer a general RPG section on Twitch or individual sections for each RPG? General. Because no one's going to search for Valiant Vanquished RPG. Yeah. Our, our Valiant Universe role-playing game. No one's going to search even for Shadowrun role-playing game or Pathfinder. They might, but the chances are slim. But if you had a tabletop RPG section, more people are going to be interested in checking that out if they like things like Critical Role and stuff like that. Yay! Rock the epidemic! Thank you for that 500! Ba-boom! Uh, thank you so much. Okay, so next question. Zach, the gauntlet was awesome last night. I have to admit, it took until now for it to work for me. Is it approaching the level you envision? No, not even close, Lackey. We've got a long way to go on that show. But you're, we ha we're doing what we can each week. We can't drop every other show to make one show work. So it's a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. That's just how it works. Uh, so each week, it'll get better. Matt Mercer's on the show a week and a half from now, so I want it to be yeah, ready by then. Matt's coming to Hyper RPG, um, guys. Matt's gonna be Matt on the Mercer, Gauntlet. Matt Mercer, if you uh, are wondering what sixth. Matt we're talking about. He's gonna be here on the 6th, uh, and I want the show to be ready for, yeah. I want that to be the first episode of season one. This has been pre-season, so I want that to be season one. Okay, next question. Yeah, exactly, dang. Matt we don't Hurst actually have, so Troopers JP, we don't actually have a 10 a.m. slot anymore. We canceled that. We have a 1 p.m. slot, 3 p.m. slot, and 6 p.m. slot. What do you consider midday? The 1 p.m. and the 3 p.m. are our midday slots. 6 p.m. is our prime time slot. Also, good luck getting sections for all the indie games. Tricks ties. 
Uh, somebody said, a friend of theirs said, I disagree with them bending the Twitch TOS and getting away with it. Any smaller streamer would have been suspended for constant rebroadcasting, is what the playlist feature is for. That's actually not against Twitch Terms of yeah. Service. So, Peanut Butter Babe, your friend is misspoken. It's not against Twitch Terms of Service. Everything we do is, which, is with Twitch's permission. Yeah. Believe me, they would tell us not to do something. Because they have. Yeah. They've told us before, like, ah, oh, don't put this in this category. Don't do that. They can't tell you not to rebroadcast. That's not against the terms of service. So that's just someone's misinformed. Um, a lot of other streamers will do rebroadcast too for European viewers and stuff like that. Zach, are you looking for any more volunteers? Um, yes and no, Lady Kaku. Maybe Emily is. So I think that might be like we need a we need She's a volunteer local. for Emily, right? Oh, and especially for events, though. If we, if we have events for it. Yeah. Krillin yeah. says, I know we've seen some subs from it already, but does your data support all the time and effort spent at cons? No, it does not. It's a waste of time and money. 100%. Just, no. It's, uh, it's not. It doesn't work. Now, the next couple of events I'm going to, it's because I'm paid to be there, so... Totally different. It's totally different. Should I bring the pillow again this year, guys? No. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so DG Writing Fiend. That sounds really cool, but I have a inkling that Grab Bag was a tor <laughs> terrible, horrible failure. Uh, and that is kind of along the same lines. Um... DG Writing Fiend was saying, why don't we create a show where the Thumpers create an RPG? Well, because no one else will watch. Right, exactly. Yeah, it, it's a tough balance. Like, we gotta do things that other people can get into. You wanna make, you guys, we wanna make you guys in the community feel as proud this and is, happy to be a part of this community. Cashew says, let's see something from this channel that we can take along. Right, because it is old stuff. Can I get a big bunny? I wanna, you know like that crochet bunny that somebody made? What's her name? Uh, you think there may possibly be a few cons that are exceptions to that rule. Uh, you are incorrect, Kellen Dross. Oh, Us being at Gen Con you like grab bag. was 100% a loss. Uh, so, that's that's just not... Zach said no when we tried to order a giant bunny. Dude, actually, have you guys seen this? It was a trend a couple months ago. It is so disturbing and so hilarious. People were taking those giant teddy bears you know, like the ones that you can buy in Costco, taking the stuff in yeah. and wearing them and dancing. It was so funny. I would do that to a giant stuffed rabbit. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like we have to find that. Why we're doing these late night streams is those are for you guys. It's where we get to hang out with you and doing this. It's like hang out with you guys, listen to you, make you feel proud to be a part of this community. Our primetime slots oh. and some of our earlier shows, we've got to do stuff to bring in new people because if we're only serving ourselves and the community we already have, we're not gonna survive. Uh, so we've gotta be welcoming, we gotta bring new oh, people in. That's, yeah, we should've done more of that. Don't go as a presenter booth, go and just be sales. That's what chat. we're doing now. Yeah. Yes, that's 100%. Like, at TwitchCon, I'm paid to be at TwitchCon. Mm -hmm. And uh, NYCC, I'm paid to be there. So it's not a loss to the company and it can only help us. And that's what I mean by like, that's when a con is good. When we're paying to be there, we are way too young of a company to be doing that. Sleepy Panda has a, a good suggestion. Uh, command on the screen. Yes, we want to do that, yeah. Sleepy Panda. We want to do that. Uh, it just takes time. And we're rebuilding our website to be able to do stuff like that. We want to have that data and we want to be able to do that. And whenever I get the website up, I'm going to be asking for help for people to help us with copy on the website and like collecting that kind of information. Oh, Cam Crochets. Gonna send us some crochet thumpers. Awesome! Oh, I love it. Amazing. It so awesome. So cool. They're um. Oh, definitely solo stream. Most definitely. Oh no, Bafana Bafana seventy two. I am completely aware. Uh, and I would say the one thing that I understand we don't do as well as what I did at Geek and Sundry, and it's something I've been talking to Rai Rai about, and I I want us to do it better. Um. I am a huge troll, as you guys know, but I'm never around anymore, or I'm stuck at a computer, and I'm stuck in an email kind of thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, 
And I think part of the reason a lot of people would watch some of the shows on GNS, even though they don't aren't as produced as well as the shows here, as there was that element of if I was there, you didn't know what was gonna happen. And it's the same, like, the only reason somebody would watch um, uh, Mirzapan's show, Why I've already blocked it out of my head. Well, we're talking about it because there's something to be learned okay. from it. There's something to be learned and what we need to be doing better here. And it is creating that aspect of the bizarre and the spontaneous of you'll keep watching even if it's mundane because you don't know what will happen next. Work troll balance. It's a work troll balance, right? Work troll balance. Yep. So, minds and crafts, yeah. Uh, is, is because there was a level of spontaneity and there was a level of trolling and fun and not taking ourselves too seriously. And I do think sometimes here we take ourselves too seriously and it drives me nuts. I don't like taking ourselves too seriously. Um, Should I have a little league of graphic designers? There's been a few in the chat room. Yeah. So. That was, uh, uh, we have other ideas for RPGs coming up, Gore Stag. We're always researching, Rai Rai and I talk about these things, so. Uh, Mr. Red Parsons Victrinus, yeah, later. we're not big enough to try that yet. Yeah. It's just, we could do it a late night thing. We could do it a Games and Grub thing. Yeah, we yeah. could. I could love puppets. Made uh, Phallic Tower in Minecraft and showed it to Felicia. That's that was, pretty great. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Yeah, we did a lot of stuff, so uh, that that's the kind of thing where it's like if we were to do the host shows during the day, it would allow us to do more of that stuff. Um, so. No, no more 50 pounds of potatoes. Zach was like, what do I do with that? Pines and crafts. And I was like, donate it to a food we bank. We did, we took it to a food bank. And we took it to a food bank, but oh my gosh, guys. Yeah. There was a lot of potatoes to move. DJ Writing Fiend, we're looking into that Star Wars RPG. We really like it. The new Star Wars RPG from Fantasy Flight is awesome, and we're looking into it, and we have research being done on it because it looks great, and we really want to do yes, it. Yes, Games and Grub. Great suggestion on the name. Sweet. Well, um, that's pretty much everything I wanted to get out. Like I said, now you guys are aware and just so you know, I will not rest, I will not fucking sleep, I will not take a break until we figure this fucking out. Because I really believe he's, in what we're doing he's here. He's being honest here. It keeps me up at night too. Yeah. Saying that. It's starting to hurt. I don't know if you've ever been so tired you're nauseous. It's starting to happen more and more often. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go to the hugs room now. Yeah. It's been hard, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to make Zach sleep because I fall asleep before he falls asleep. And like, I try to, you know, sing him songs or something, but it's not working. Yeah, well, Mercer will be able to promote he's coming on. I'm sure he will. I'm, yeah. I mean, he's gonna be a Burning Man right up before it though, yeah. but I bet he'll send tweets the day of. Which is how that works. Aww. Well, I felt that nausea, it's not fun. Yeah, I just, could be the walkers. Now see, here's the thing, uh, Critwitch, about what you just said. For me, there is no next thing because this is ours. Yeah. This means so much more to me because it's fucking ours. You know, like Emily, Rai Rai and I, and QQ, and even Malika and, and some of the hosts here, like, this is ours and it's you guys's. Mm -hmm. That is so different from the other shit I've done in the past. No, cause it, well, That was theirs and they could do whatever the fuck they wanted with it whenever they wanted without telling you anything and without confronting with the audience, with anything, they, they don't give a shit. We yeah, care, I, this is ours. And that means that this is it. There is not on to the next thing if this doesn't work. It's like, no, this is it. This is ours. We're doing this and it's ours. Like, you know, I'm sure you've said this before, nobody got health insurance. No. You know, at the last situation, but here, all the full-time employees, they get decent health insurance. Bro. I love you guys and appreciate the hard work you do. Wish I could do more to you help You do so much, life. thank no, you. No, it's already, that was amazing. 
but you know, anybody who, in the chat room who's you know had health insurance problems before, it is stressful. Mm -hmm. And the people who work full time here, mm -hmm. I'm not included in this group, but um, they get health insurance, and it's like that's the least you could do for them. Least it's the least we need to do a you hell know, lot more. and people aren't swimming in dough here like. The pay is not that great, nope. but at the very least, nope. not we're for trying this to take area. care of people, yeah. you know, provide them health insurance. Oh my goodness. Whereas, you know, these other situations before this channel wouldn't even consider doing anything like that. Which is unfortunate, but that's And, and like... there is actually a lot more crummier things, but we're not going to talk about that. Nope. Yeah. And we, we care. And this yeah. is ours. We built it together with you. And there's a pride in that, and that we know at the end of the day, this can't be mm -hmm. taken away from us. Somebody can't just show up and say it's not yours anymore. Yeah. It's, it, like, whatever we do here gets to continue being this. Like, so let's let's keep it going. You know, whatever it takes, like, let's fucking do it. You know, and that's what I, that that's what I wanted to tell you tonight. It's like, yes, this is what's left, but we can, we can do it. Like, I'm fully confident that we can do it. We've had big things in the recent, like there's shit happening yeah. we just gotta follow through on yeah. and that's why i had to ask for help because i don't have for me to make those things follow through i can't do these things on this piece of paper and i've been lying to myself and this is my fault i've been lying to myself oh. for yeah. a couple months saying i could do it a wonderful one man band but i can't do it but you have I can't you know you have to get good at running that three person circus three I know. man circus right trying to make it and, yeah, and that's the thing sure. too, and I don't want to ask Rai Rai and Emily because they're already overworked. They're, if they're still here right now, it's 11.53, they're overworked. Um, so it, it's that point like, you know, maybe, maybe that isn't the best business model to where you have to ask your community to help on certain things. You know, like I, I get that. Um, but live and learn, you know, you, you live and learn, so. Hugs, thanks for hosting us. All for one and one for all. Boom. All right, well, we're actually probably going to start shutting it down a little bit. Yeah, um, so we can uh, work on things. Yeah. Um, I, I got to do some research for next week's Vanquished. I'm really excited. I was telling people today I came up with what Volume 3 is going to be. And I'm excited. How, How close, close are we to breaking even? Can like we, 8K we, a month. Really? Yep. It's not bad. We can do I, we it. We can fucking do it. We can do it. And it's not like Rabbit we need more power. donations. It's more like if we can get these things done, I can go out and I can and get us sell. fucking sponsors. Yeah. I can get us sponsors for that. Yeah. That's not that much to ask for from sponsors. Yeah. We can fucking do that. We Aww. can fucking do that. Aww. See you later, Jim Stewart Allen. Enjoy your Bill Nye. Oh. Yeah, it's doable. It's totally doable. We can do it. We can do it. So, um. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, okay, to, to be completely honest, like this month, Soylent is giving us a kit. They're giving us $1,000 to promote their new product. <laughs> which luckily we all really like and drink yeah. the shit out of and have almost finished three cases. Somebody was saying we need that blue apron, so. Yeah, uh, but Soylent doesn't have more than a thousand to give because they're at the end of the year and they've already gone through their marketing budget for the year. I, these the, are all conversations I've already had. What's the Hairbrain Schemes partnership about? It's a sister company, so we don't they, share finances. Yeah, we don't, we don't do anything with money. Yeah. Uh, I've already tweeted at them and they have not responded, but there are a lot of other meal subscription things and I've personally canceled my thing to maybe pursue one that might want to work with us. So Yeah. Um Emily I'm, if you're I still the here in the back. At, no, that's not true. There are the hosts. There's a few that work at HBS and here. Emily if you're still here in the back, um who's our raid target tonight? Who are we gonna share the love with? Who are we going yes, to hot. share the love with? Yes, hot. 
Who are we going to shout the lot with? And being enthusiastic. Oh, for the people that are asking, should it be tips or cheers? Um, tips are always better. Always better. We get 100% of tips. Uh, cheer, we only get um, one penny to every dollar forty, or one penny to every one point four that you spend. So, like, if you spend a dollar forty, we get a dollar. So they, yeah. Uh, Aww. We have a PO box, right? Yeah, we do. Yep. We do. Uh, Genova Plus, that's awesome. Uh, oh, it's Fire Crow's birthday? Hey! Is Fire Crow streaming, Emily? Fire Crow helped us out last week. I'd love to help Fire him Sai, out. Fire thanks for being an awesome sub. I can't hear. They're yelling in the back, and I, I can't DM hear. DM is fuck, bro. What? Woo! Just came back to tell you I had a dream about you guys playing Paragon. Well, it was more like you were in Paragon as yourselves playing Paragon. I don't Paragon. remember who won, but the point was I had a dream. Thanks. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for that contribution. Really appreciate it. Um, all actually, right. So we're going to raid Fire Crow. It's yes, his birthday. This helps. Tell him happy birthday. You've got three minutes to tell him happy birthday. Happy Let's get birthday. this raid going. Are we ready? You got that raid command ready? Get that raid command ready! Are we ready to do this? In three. Thank you, everyone. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for keeping this going. Tomorrow we have Jim Stewart Allen and Sally here. It's one of our Yay! funniest fucking shows on this channel. Come. Oh my god. And what? Have a good time. So, so much fun. Be here for Off the Trails. And then after that, we've got Land Party. And Claudia and I are going to be on a team in Paragon with chat remembers against Zargaros and uh, that should be funny too. Drunkly Romantic. It'll be funny. All right. In three, two, one. Go! 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 Go!